Share UiPath Save One Real Questions for UiPath Certified Professional Specialized AI Professional Exam. 1. What are the out of the box model types available in iCenter? A. Pre trained, custom training, and reviewed. B. Custom training, fine tunable, and reviewed. C. Pre trained, fine tunable, and reviewed. D. Pre trained, custom training, and fine tunable. Answer D. 2. What are the two main data extraction methodologies used in document understanding processes? A. Hybrid and manual data extraction. B. Rule-based and model-based data extraction. C. Rule-based and hybrid data extraction. D. Manual and model-based data extraction. Answer. B. 3. What is the machine learning extractor? A. A specialized model that can recognize multiple languages in the same document using API calls to a hugging face model with over 250 languages. B. An extraction model that can be enabled and trained in L Center. For better accuracy, 25 documents per model are recommended to train the model. C. A tool using machine learning models to identify and report on data targeted for data extraction. D. A tool that helps extract data from different document structures, and is particularly useful when the same document has multiple formats. Answer. D. 4. Which of the following is an indicator that sufficient training has been completed for a model in UiPath Communications Mining? A. A model rating of 30 to 40. B. A model rating of 40 to 50. C. A model rating of 50 to 60. D. A model rating of 70 to 90 or better. Answer. D. 5. What is one best practice when designing a UiPath communications mining label taxonomy? A. Each label should be identifiable from the text of the individual verbatim, not thread, to which it will be applied. B. Each label should include customer experience, sentiment analysis in its coverage. C. Each parent label should have at least three children labels to ensure specificity. D. Each label should overlap SLIQHTLV with a few distinct others so we ensure 100% covariate. Answer. A. 6. What can be done in the Reports section of the Dataset Navigation Bar in UiPath Communication Mining? A. Train models using unsupervised learning. B. View, save, and modify dataset model versions. C. Monitor model performance and receive recommendations. D. Access detailed, core Vable charts statistics, and customizable dashboards? Answer. D. 7. How can the code be tested in a development or testing environment in the context of the document understanding process? A. Use them as a template to create other tests. B. Simply run the existing tests C. Based on the use case developed, create test data to test existing and new tests. D. Based on the use case developed, create test data to test existing tests. Answer. C. 
8. How is the taxonomy component used in the document understanding template? A. To define the document types and the pieces of information targeted for data extraction, fields, for each document type. B. To apply rigor in the taxonomy of data, ensuring any newly discovered object fits into one and only one category or object. C. To organize knowledge by using a controlled vocabulary to make it easier to find related information. D. To apply relationship schemas other than parent-child hierarchies, such as network structures on the processed data. Answer. A. 9. How can you build custom models supported by iCenter? A. Using the AL Center IDE, Integrated Development Environment. B. Using the AL Center Model Builder. C. Using a Python IDE, Integrated Development Environment, or an AutoML platform. D. Using a C, C++ IDE, Integrated Development Environment. Then upload the code to AL Center IDE. Answer. C. 10. What does the export stage of the document understanding framework do? A. Converts the result of extraction to a dataset or to a customized format. B. Allows a human to validate and correct the extracted data. C. Classifies the document as one of the predefined document types. D extracts the text out of the image document using OCR, optical character recognition. Answer. A.